in all my videos i always talk about the positive aspects of the biotech industry but today i think i should also address the negative side the dark side now why we should talk about both sides of the coin because one sided view can lead to mistakes lead to disasters it's like our elders used to say when you are crossing the road see both the sides right same way when you are trying to get into the industry you should know both sides the good things and the bad things we have already already talked about a lot of positive aspects of the biotech industry but today i'm also going to talk about some negative aspects which you should be aware some dark sides so that you can navigate through and you can grow faster in this industry to start with first point would be obviously degrees don't matter skills matter and this is not actually a dark side it's actually a good thing but yeah you can say i see a lot of student like uh, yesterday a girl came to me and she is a msc in bioinformatics and she's like sir what should i do more which degree i should do more to get a job i was like no you just need to go for the job hunt right so uh, basically you don't need one more degree to get into the biotech industry you need the right job hunt strategy because the industry is looking for skilled manpower if you already have the skill they are going to employ you so degrees don't matter skills matter that's a kind of dark side but hey we're just entering the dark side right the second dark side is freshers are unwelcome no freshers welcome so why do they say that because freshers come up with two problems the first is training problem and the second is commitment problem so the fresher uh, candidate who has just passed out of their college like bsc or msc now this particular student is uh, not at all skilled for the industry let's say he's he hardly knows how to handle a uh, instrument and the industry wants you to handle a hplc or a gcms hp so uh, that is where if you are not skilled enough they are not going to absorb you so my point would be again if you are a fresher you should not target big companies like majority of the freshers will be like i want my i want to go to biocon or i want to go to torrent i want to go to zydas i want to go to sun pharma you can't get in there on day one see you started the alphabet a b c d and reach z right same way you have to start from small companies in bangalore you have 500 plus 550 plus biotech startups startups as small as two people companies five people companies 10 people companies go work there gain experience once you have the experience then obviously you can get uh, fished out by the big fish right so that's how you have to gain your experience because the freshers are unwelcome here now the third thing will be references so you know when you go for a big company even the small company references and recommendations are the norm of the industry no matter what so this is where if you are like a fresher and no experience no references they are not going to entertain you unless you are outstanding so what my suggestion is build your linkedin profile make it look attractive post regularly there comment on various posts by other scientists and other people and build your reputation and at the same time ask people who who already know you to recommend you on linkedin and of course when you are you know applying for a job you can always look for people who can refer you there right for example i refer a lot of students to the biotech industry so you can always take my reference so this kind of things you have to do because the industry the dark side they may not hire you if you don't have references and again references are required because of the commitment issue which i told you earlier so if you are a student uh, and you like okay i'll start my career after msc majority will go towards phd so you know the company hired you you didn't work for 6 months and you leave, left the job going for a phd so whatever training went in 6 months goes into training itself right all that goes waste so that is why company does not hire people who they don't know or they don't have a reference so because of the commitment issue so yeah you have to keep this in mind the next thing which i have seen is most of the jobs are contractual in nature jrf srf kind of a thing or even in companies they will will not give you a permanent job initially they'll give you contract so that's a dark side i would say because in they should actually hire people and give them a proper job but instead what they do is they will give you a contract and the, the contract does not renew and now you are back on the page one square one so that's where the problem will be i have also seen a couple of companies having bond and lot of students or lot of job seekers have this problem signing bond thinking that okay how can i sign sign a bond of 2 years or 1 year so uh, to start with uh, signing a bond is not a bad thing but yeah it's a dark side because they may not tell you initially in the job 
advertisement, but later on, once the interview is done, you are selected, then they will say, hey, there is a bond. So that becomes a, a problem for majority of the job seekers because they are not expecting that there will be a bond or agreement. The next thing which I have seen is uh, for people, as you grow in your career in uh, life sciences in the research domain, you will find out that standing long hours in the lab is the norm. Working in the lab can be physically tiring and at the same time, you don't have a fixed time timing. If this experiment is running, you have to continue. If the batch process is running, you have to be there or, you know, these kind of things can happen. So that is where uh, the work-life balance goes for a toss and uh, majority people after, after the age of 40, 45, they want a, you know, stable but uh, comfortable job. That may not happen here. And uh, yeah, if you have progressed and got promotions, then obviously it becomes. But yeah, if you do not prog progress, if you don't get promoted, then it can be stressful. Now, uh, another thing which I have seen is that industry is always evolving. So if you are thinking that, okay, I have a degree, so, uh, you know, they have hired me, so they, you know, I don't need to learn anything new. You have to know that the industry techniques are changing every day, right? Uh, for example, 10 years ago, they were using uh, a steel fermenter. Now they're using a plastic fermenter. So th th there are multiple things which keeps coming, right? So what my suggestion is, since the industry is constantly under reflux, constantly evolving, you will have to keep, you know, adding more skill set, more uh, knowledge to yourself. And that's not a dark side, but yeah, it's it keeps you competitive, yeah. Okay. Then uh, another aspect which I can tell you is there are more sales jobs in India than R&D jobs in India. When you look at US, you will have more of uh, research jobs uh, there, not more of sales jobs. But in India, because all the products are being sold in India and majority of the government organizations are buying it. So yeah, sales jobs are readily av available. It's not a bad thing, but yeah, this is one truth which you should know. And more jobs, more high paying jobs are in USA and Europe, not in India yet. But I am seeing off late that it is improving day by day. So if you are a chief scientific officer at that level, the salaries are really good in India. And if you are somebody who, are, who is at a starting level, yeah, it is bad. It's really bad. And I would suggest that if anybody is paying you less than 20,000 rupees, I think you should not accept it, considering if it is a metro, because uh, you have to survive and you have to, you know, uh, work there and uh, pay, pay your bills at least. So, yeah. So these are the few dark side of the industry, which I know. Uh, I wanted not to be very critical of the industry, but at the same time, tell you the truth. But one last point I wanted to tell you is whether it is biotech industry or whether it is any industry, you have to know that every industry will have a dark side. Okay. You go to IT industry, there is a dark side that after 45 years of age, they'll throw you out. Right. So people don't want, they want young engineers, they don't want older uh, engineers. So these kind of things we have seen in the past. In other sectors also, we see such things in civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics, uh, biomedical, no matter what. So every industry will have a dark side. My suggestion to you is, uh, if you just gravitate on the dark side, you will never move forward. Okay. Instead, focus on the positive aspects, focus on what you can get from here, and then you grow. Because... Uh, for everything there is a dark side right so that's all for uh, this video thank you so much now coming to the free download which i had mentioned uh, so i'm giving away a free download for who watched this video till then till now and uh, this particular uh, is um, you know thing is a 70 to 90 questions pdf okay which i am uh, putting the link in down below you can go and download but this PDF, which you will download, is password protected. And uh, the password is Biotechnica is the best without any space. Okay. Biotechnica is the best. And Biotechnica spelling you have to enter right. Biotechnica is the best is the password. You'll be able to unlock 70 to 90 HR interview questions, which will come handy if you are preparing for any kind of interview in the biotech and pharma sector. So see you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.